Hey guys, welcome back. So today I um, did a tutorial for you that is, it reminds me of Elsa from Frozen. Um, so I was super excited about it, but it was more inspired for Valentine's Day coming up. It is full of purples and um, soft pink cheek. It's tons of purple in the eye and a purple lip. And I thought that this look was really great for maybe um, somebody who's single, who's just going out with their friends and hanging out, or maybe you're having um, a single Valentine's Day with yourself and you're taking yourself out to dinner, or maybe you're going out with your friends and you're just going to hang out with all of them. So it's just something that's nice, it's simple, um, very light and fun, but definitely full of color and Valentine's theme. So um, here we go. So after my silly dance, <laughs> the first thing I am using is my Mary Kay oil mattifier. If you've watched my videos before, you know how much I love this stuff. If you have oily skin like I do, I am pressing that into my skin so that my skin really grabs on, holds on to it, and then in turn absorbs all the excess oil that I have. If you are a dry skin girl, you do not need to use this product. Now I've got my Mary Kay TimeWise Matte Wear Foundation. There is also a luminous version of this. I use the matte wear because I have oily skin, so I don't want to look like I have super greasy face. This is not too matte to where you look like you have a powdery cake face. It comes across very natural, very dewy for us oily girls um, because our natural oils kind of unmatte it a little and we have just this very nice natural dewy look. The luminous version gives the dry girls a very beautiful dewy look right off the bat and it's very hydrating for your skin so there are many different foundation choices with Mary Kay and they are my favorite foundations um, but this one is my absolute favorite foundation now I'm taking some of the mineral powder foundation they have you can use a translucent powder if you want but I'm gonna use this mineral powder foundation to set my liquid foundation because my skin's so oily I just like to take that extra step and go ahead and set it if you are not a super oily girl you don't have to set your foundation or you can use um, a translucent powder which is what I would recommend more if you have more dry skin now we're moving on to my brows I have actually got the Anastasia brow pomade and chocolate I was giving it a whirl I have tried um, eyeshadows powders pencils. I wanted to see how this pomade held up to my powder and gel combo that I love so much. Um, I like this. It's not a bad product. I don't think that it's the raving product that everybody says. It is easy. Um, it does take a little bit more time um, just because you have to be careful that you're not too heavy handed, but I think that that's the case with any brow product. So the first brow is getting all straightened out there and you'll see my left brow is a little wonky right there. It's kind of <laughs> bare. I don't, I don't know what I did when I was trying to, uh, maintain those puppies, but I did something. Anyway, filling that one in, I like to start from the bottom up. Um, and kind of build it from the bottom up to lift my brow up. Now I'm putting on eye primer. If you have oily skin, you need eye primer in your life. The Mary Kay eye primer is wonderful. If you don't have oily skin, you still need it in your life because it will extend the life of your um, eye products and it will also help with the color. This shadow is Lavender Fog. It is like a purpley with kind of like a grayish tone to it. It's a matte eyeshadow. I love this shadow um, as the base. I usually will use a brown, but I use this because of the gray undertone. I wanted this look to be very soft, very pinky, purpley, very bright. And so that's why I actually chose a lavender fog over my usual uh, brown shade that I am in love with. Now I'm going to take Mary Kay Iris and it is a darker, more of a bright purple. And it's a true 
purple. I love this color and I'm just sweeping that all over the base of the lid. Not really going too high, just really pack it in at the lash line and then blending it upward to my crease, but not hitting the crease entirely, more hitting the crease on the outside, but not inside my eye. I don't want to look like I got punched and have a black eye or a purple eye. Same thing on the other side, packing that in there really nice along the lash line and then working it in to the crease more on the outer corners, um, but just making sure that everything is evenly distributed throughout the eye. Now I'm just taking a real fluffy brush and blending those colors together, making sure that I don't have any rough or harsh edges. Now I'm taking some um, Mac, Mac Fix Plus. Excuse me, I didn't use a setting spray. This is more like an amplifying spray. The Fix Plus really um, intensifies the colors. A setting spray just helps your makeup stay on. But I took the setting spray and sprayed the tip of the brush, and then I dipped the brush into Shimmering Lilac eye color. And this is a very sparkly, glittery purple, and so the spray is really going to help prevent fallout. It's also going to intensify the glitter in it. Um, it's not a very um, in-your-face glitter. It's just a real nice sparkly kind of fairy dewdrops type of a glitter. And that's really what I was trying to create with this look. Now I'm just taking the brush that I had used previously with the Lavender Fog and the Iris and just putting the excess under the eye to kind of just smoke it out with the purple a little. Nothing too deep, nothing too heavy. I didn't add any additional product. Now I'm using my favorite mascara of life. Oh my goodness, I love this mascara. It is the Mary Kay Lash Love Lengthening Mascara. I rave about this. I have every female in my family hooked on it. It It's just, it's amazing. Because of the curve in the brush, I feel that it just gives this wonderful fan to your lashes. You can see the difference in my lashes when I look at the camera right there. But it it's just, it's amazing. They have, it's in black and in black brown, or no, black and brown. So if you do have more fair of a color, you can actually use the exact same mascara but in a different color. But this is just amazing. I, the only way you're going to know how much of amazingness it really is, is if you get your own, because I, I can't really verbalize it. That's how much I love this. And we're just putting a little on the bottom lashes there. I didn't dip the brush back into the tube to get any extra. Just taking what's left after doing both of my um, top lashes. And just putting that into the bottom to give it a little definition and to open my eyes up just a little bit more. Now I'm taking Mary Kay um, Mineral Cheek Color in Strawberries and Cream. Oh no, actually that's Citrus Bloom. That's what the cheek color is. It is a very bright pink color, so I'm taking it with a very, very light hand. If I were to take it heavier, it would look probably pretty funky. But just a really light hand to really give myself that fresh pink kind of wind kissed cheek and I really liked it. I thought it was very beautiful. Now I am taking strawberry and cream and it is a mineral cheek color also, but this one has some sparkle in it. The other one was totally matte. This has a little bit more sparkle in it. So I'm using that as the highlighter on the top of my cheeks. They're basically the same color for the most part. The citrus bloom is um, a lot brighter, but the strawberries and cream has sparkle. And I just wanted to add a little bit of highlight to the top of my cheeks. Taking the Mary Kay Lip Primer, this is discontinued, unfortunately. So any lip primer to fill in your lips. And now I am using um, Max Plumful as the lip color. It's a purpley pinkish color, and I haven't found any color out there like it. Um, I just thought that it was so pretty. I have been on the hunt for a dupe for this, but I haven't found it. 
And that's the look, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe below so that you get updates every time I upload a new video. I'm also going to do a Valentine's Day tutorial for something with a little bit more of a smoky eye or a deeper sultry look um, for people who are married or maybe you're going out on a hot date for Valentine's Day so you want something that's just a little bit more smoky um, and sultry for Valentine's Day. I will see you guys next time. Bye! doesn't really have a smell. It's nice and silky. I love this stuff and you can use this all the time. So I just keep a little tube in my purse.